Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are going to go ahead and go over mean, median, mode, and range. Yesterday you glued in your journal how to find the mean of a set of numbers. Today you glued in median, mode, and range how to find those from a set of numbers. Friday you'll have an assignment where you have to find mean, median, mode, and range. Yes, Blake, you'll have... No, wait, sorry, not Blake. Yes, student who doesn't make eye contact because he doesn't want to be called upon. You will have to, or you will be able to use your notes on this assignment. In my first class today, my homeroom, I did an example, recorded it, posted it on the tube of you of one of the problems you'll have on Friday. So if you want to go back and watch it, take some notes, you already have that answer. In my second class, Ms. Davis's homeroom, I recorded me going over one of the other problems that you'll have on Friday, posted it on the tube of you, so you can watch it. And guess what? We're going to go over this one in Mr. W's class today. If you do all the notes, this is a problem that you'll have on Friday. And I'll post it on the tube of you. And, and, and I'm also putting the link on the book of face. Why? Why? Because I'm going to say your first name backwards. JJ. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I used the wrong J first. Everybody, everybody, everybody uh, Wait, Jeremiah, oh my first name is Robert. Where's the other J? Alright, using my team, Shake App, sponsor me if you'd like. <laughs> Sophia, what would you like to find first? Mean, median, mode, or range? Mean. Sophia wants to find the mean first. So, Sophia, do you remember from yesterday how to find the mean of a set of numbers? Maybe. Yes, what do I do first, Sophia? Add all the numbers. Good. First, to find the mean, I need to find the sum of the set of data. So, Sophia, if you'll find the sum of that data. <laughs> The rest of you figure it out in case she's lying. Good job, Brooks. Say again? 56. Truett, you agree with her? No! <laughs> How do you know Truett doesn't agree with her? What did you get, Truett? 54. 54? What'd you get, Krista? You didn't do it? Um, we'll wait, Krista. Because we want to make sure we're right before we move on, otherwise it's a problem. I have a question. The question is be quiet, JJ. That's my question. My question is, why Oh, I got it. Can I answer? Yeah, can you What'd you get, Mia? 54. So our sum is 54. Cadence, what is our next step in finding the mean of a set of data? Divide by what? The number of pieces of data there are. Shockley, please listen. So, Cadence, how many pieces of data are there? Nine. Nine. So I find the sum, I divide by the number of pieces of data. So, so Cadence, what's 54 divided by 9? Six. 6. JJ, please stop talking unless I call on you. Team Shake App will tell me when to. So the mean is found by finding the sum of the data, divide by the number of pieces of data there are. The mean in this case is 6. If you were to see this problem on an assignment on Friday, which they will, then the answer would be 6. Next up, Blake, referred to as the student who doesn't like to make eye contact so he doesn't get called on. Blake, what would you like to find next? Median, mode, or range? Median. Median. Blake, tell me how to find the median. I know you glued it in your journal today. We didn't do median except today. 
Yes, you'll be able to use these notes on that assignment on Friday. Okay, we need to order the data from smallest to greatest. So, go ahead and order that for me, Blake. What's the smallest one? Two. Two. Then? Then? Five. Then? Six. Then? Seven. Then? Seven. Then? Seven. Then? Seven. Then? Seven. Then? Eight. Then? Eight. Then? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, good. And then what's it say to do? Like, after we order from least to greatest. You know what the word median means? Yeah. Middle. Like if you're driving down the freeway and you see a car crash into the grass, that's the median. All right, so then we find the number in the middle, Blake. So in the middle of our list, once they're in order from least to greatest, what is the number in the middle? Seven. Seven. So we can check that just... Cross off till you get to the middle. So we have our median of seven. Now, little hint. Listen carefully. If you have two numbers that are the middle numbers, so if you have an even set of numbers, the same amount, or an even number of pieces of data, you would take the two numbers in the middle, add them together, and divide by two. That is in your notes. So my median is what, Blake? Seven. Seven. Next, using my Team Shake app, Hope, Chase Hope. Which one do you want to do, mode or range? Range. Range, and how do I find range? We've done this one quite a bit this year. Well, some of us. God bless you. Oh no, Team Shake called on Chase Hope. Team Shake called on Chase Hope. Hey, are you guys going to be in town next Friday? Yes. One of y'all want to stay home and watch the girls? Okay. Wait. Alright. That's 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 his son. That's my brother. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Okay, that's. I'm their probation officer. Chase Hope, you picked which one? Range? How do you find range? Finding the difference between the largest value and smallest value. Good. Largest subtract smallest. And what is our largest? On our list, eight. eight. <clears throat> and our smallest, two. two. What is? Oh, that's range. Sorry. And what is our range? Eight subtract two. Six. Six. Our range is six. Go back to Team Shake. Check it again. Brooks, would you like to find the mode or the mode? Uh, I guess we'll find no, the, mode. the mode. The mode. Good, Brooks. Or I find, I'll, I'll find or. Good. So, Brooks, how do we find the mode? Um, you do, um, you find the data set. Can I say it? No. I'm sure you can. I don't want you to, though. Good. Brooke says, the piece of data that it shows up the most. Is there one piece of data that yes, shows up the seven, most? Seven, seven. Good. The mode is seven. Now, a little something about the mode. A little something about the mode. You may have more than one mode. Seven shows up four times here. Well, if there were two more fives, then the five and the seven would be the mode. Oh. Or... If they all showed up one time, there would be no mode. Because it has to be more than two. Because it has to be the one that shows up the most. 
So if they all show up the same, there's no mode. But if the, there can be two or three that show up more than the rest, so you can have more than one mode. So as I said, this is one of the problems from Friday. Miss Davis's class did one of the problems from Friday. My homeroom did one of the problems from Friday. So there are three problems available for you. If you'd like to look on the tube of you, watch it, write things down. You'll get this, you'll have three of the problems done correctly for you. All you'd have to do is go and write down the answers. You want to bet how many of them actually watched the other two videos? Uh, I'm going to say five. In this class? I would subtract at least four from that. One? At least four. No, one. one at the most. I and if it is, you. if it's any more than one, it will come from this group of people right here. Mm. Oh, oh, I watched your video. I watched your video. I watched your video. Did you just ask me if you did some? Boom! Shaka laka, peace out. God bless. Love you. Be kind, do something kind for one another. Subscribe for my channel. Subscribe to Robots from Neptune. You won't regret it. Love ya.